reviving a piece of Jacksonville's history. That's the goal of two young state skaters with the help of their mom. The Kona Skate Park in Arlington has been a staple in Jacksonville since the 1970s, attracting big names like Tony Hawk to skate what's known as the vert ramp back in the 80s. The goal is to raise $60,000 to restore the vert ramp that's now riddled with holes and surrounded by unsafe structures. News for Jacks reporter Tiffany Salome spoke with the family leading the movement to revive Kona State Park. Skating is a passion that's only growing for these two young rippers. Grayson and Jackson Lane are just seven and nine years old. They're behind the movement to revive Kona Skate Park's vert ramp. Your little ones drop in all over? <laughs> yes. They drop in the extension, the roll in, which is terrifying. That's Grayson taking on the vert ramp at just five years old. If you're wondering what a vert ramp is, it's just like a half pipe with vertical walls making it ideal for aerial tricks. This one at Kona is 78 feet wide with 14 feet of flat bottom, standing 13 feet tall. When you guys first started coming out here, what did this look like? There weren't holes, there weren't pieces coming up, but there's so much rain and the sun beats down on the skate light. It only has so much of a shelf life. Kona is known as the world's oldest skate park. The first vert ramp was built here back in 1980, and the one you see behind me was constructed in 2001. So as you can see, it's about time for an update. It's one of their favorite places to skate. There's so many options. There's this iconic snake run that they absolutely love and fly down. There's a few mini ramp options, and then there used to be this beautiful vert ramp that we are trying to raise money to fix right now. Making city councils understand how it would benefit the community. A few months ago, Diana made a plan to restore the vert ramp. All of the stairs, all of the decking up here needs to go, as you can see. Having a contractor come out to get an estimate on how much money it would take to rebuild. So we're looking at least $60,000 for the contractor and for materials. If we can't raise quite enough, we might have a skate community come out and do a lot of the hard work ourselves. Right now, Diana's fundraiser is about a quarter of the way to its goal. The donations have tiers, so the more you donate, the more you get. A big enough donation will get you a lifetime membership at Kona and your name or your business's name on the vert ramp. So why is it important to you to raise this money? I would like to see vert back in Jacksonville. Like I said, it's a very exclusive division of skateboarding right now. We have street skateboarding. The only skateboarding we don't have to offer is vert right now in Jacksonville. So I really want to see that come back. Honestly, they love to fly, and you can't fly anywhere else like you can at Everett Ramp. Reporting in Arlington, Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, The Local Station.